ドクター、後で一緒にアルティメットをやりませんかWindblit is a five star supporter who somehow got a job immediately after graduating. As an artificer, Windblit brings along his reliable battery, allowing casters and supporters a chance to recharge their gadgets and cheating devices. Despite this, I am under legal obligation to warn you that strapping volatile batteries onto a crackhead pyromaniac child is probably not a good idea. Speaking of good ideas, spin to win, deal some damage, and all reliable batteries give 1 SP to some very happy customers. You're turning Winfred into one of those wind up camping torches, but why would you go outside camping when you could watch fake women do it instead? The damage is pitiful compared to what my student loans are doing. The SP is highly conditional since the activation range is how far I can run before getting winded, and it doesn't generate new batteries, so you'll have to resort to more primitive means. But remember, you can buff Winfred with his own batteries, causing him to deal even more damage and spinning more often. That is, dealing more damage to your account and making your head spin. Congratulations! You just spent 26 DP on an operator who takes up three tiles and can't kill anything. Please subscribe for more brilliant financial advice. Next up, Energy Rapport. Attack up better batteries and you get a battery all in exchange for some attack speed. Fully charged, each battery gives 34% attack, which is also how much effort they put in before giving up on him. Energy Rapport is definitely Winflet's main skill, mainly because Machine Rapport is fucking awful. The problem with Winflet is not the damage he's contributing, it's not his high SP costs, it's not the 15 second battery cooldown, it's not that Warfarin exists. It's not that I refresh the support page. For three days with no luck before trying to get him from Inscrutable Path before deciding, fuck it, and leveling him up myself. The real problem is that Winflit feels like a low effort shitpost. And speaking of low effort shitposts, Corosorum and Minimalist. I'm gonna skip over the part where I explain what they do, because they are just as creatively uninspired and mechanically ineffectual as whoever designed them. Instead, take a moment to consider this. How is it possible? That Near Light gives us Wild Mane, who I'm incredibly down bad for, but then we also get Corosorum, who proves just how bad things can be. How is it possible that Ideal City introduces Cantabile, who is aware of what she's doing, but then the same event introduces Minimalist, who is also aware, but shit? How is it possible that we get Irene's forehead in 4K, but also get Winflit? Who has a low BMI? The amount of effort here fluctuates more wildly than Vifer's interest in various gacha games. But remember, there are no bad operators, only bad doctors. If you're struggling, it's because you just aren't brave enough. You see, Minimalist is overpowered with 505 attack speed, allowing him to shred everything from the divorce papers to your foreskin. As you can see, I have been using Minimalist ever since his release, and this led me to a 2 up clear of 718 challenge mode, where the basic idea is that Gaviel crushes my balls, while Minimalist crawls up Patriot's asshole, only to level scathing critique at the poor architectural taste inside. If you aren't having similar success, then well, I'm sorry that you're not as good a player as me, but one secret I can share is that Minimalist has to be next to Gabriel in the squad as God intended. But e p a why use Minimalist when you could have aggressively British women in your ear all day? To which I would argue that Minimalist's birthday is literally 420. Corosorum is another S tier operator in IS2 if you have the recently added Tier of the Departed, giving him 50% Sanctuary when he stuns himself at the end of his first skill. And during this period of unbelievable thickness, tactical readjustment will generate a staggering. 3 SP, getting you ever so slightly closer to that next sweet sanctuary. Whoa, 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 hold on, breaking news! c 
Crosserim's new module boosts the SP recovery from 0.5 per second to 0.7 per second for a whopping, monumental, gargantuan 4.2 SP. <laughs> Alright, back to our regularly scheduled program. Additionally, Hypergriff's infinite wisdom blessed my boy with 20 res, allowing me to bless him with Tallulah's balls in his face, allowing me to take advantage of the minus 4 seconds of redeployment time from his third potential. Yeah, your fucking Ifrit can't do that, can she? Speaking of which, many people say Crossroom is just Ifrit without the damage, utility, and the skill to work a mean grill. However, now would be a great time to remind you that strapping volatile batteries onto a crackhead pyromaniac child is probably not a good idea. Finally, let's talk... Well, um... Let's just cut to the chase. Why would you use Windflit over Warfarin, who is easy to use, has a larger buff, has other utility, can heal allies, has a hat, and doesn't tinker with devices until they could randomly explode? And the very simple answer to that is that Warfarin doesn't have a dog in her splash art. If you think the boys are bad, I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. It's not an issue of Winflit enabling unhealthy addictions. It's not an issue of Crossroom partaking in state-sponsored splooging. It's not an issue of Minimalist having pants with no room for error. The issue is a skill issue. You think these designs are boring and uninspired, and yet you watch Arknight's content on YouTube. You have the audacity to say they're not worth raising, and yet your parents still raised you anyways. You have the gall to slander my boys, then turn right around and say, Oh, but study is not that bad when she has 30% damage reduction, 40% nice HP, 3.5% HP regen, 20% nice HP, 22% nice HP, defeated does not retain and recovers HP instead. However, nice HP minus 6% and nice HP plus 30 can only activate once after deployment. If this sounds like you, then kindly fuck off. Many of us already have the boys, because... So do yourself a favor. Try them out and come to the shocking realization that the only bad doctors are ones who tell you that there are no bad operators. And on that bombshell, I'm Iha Horse Knights, and I can't stop thinking about men. See you next time.